Not M61. Both cars out. What's going on, sir? These guys are mouthing off to me. Okay. Well, let me do my order. Okay. And the issue at hand is I had an order with them, and I was taking the order with them. Okay. And then what happened from there? Well, they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they, they wouldn't let me have, trade out anything. So why aren't you guys in here talking to these guys? I haven't done anything wrong. You've been yelling and causing a disturbance. No, they can't, I got them on video yelling and screaming at me. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. They they in, initiated to them to me. The guy came out and called me twice. Okay. So don't sit there and say that I started it. These guys came out to me. Why would they come out to you? Because they were being... Because I, had, I, because I placed an order. Okay. How's it going? Not bad. How are you? I'm a little pissed off right now. I sure. see that. Yeah. I took an order. I paid for my stuff. But these guys are all coming out here yelling and screaming, calling me names. I have them on video, and they're telling me that I'm mad and that I'm calling them names. They came out to me first. Okay. Was your order wrong or something? Yeah. Or what? They, 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 don't, they, they don't have any carbonation in here. So I, I, I always get to number two. It's got a three soft tacos and a freeze. I upgrade to a freeze. They don't okay. have it. So the issue at hand is that they want to sit there and tell me that, well, it's, it's a, up, it's a, they're going to give me something different, like tea. I don't want tea. Or water. Okay. I can get water at home. Okay. So then they had a verbal argument with them? Or well, what, started, what happened then? The guy started yelling and screaming at me from behind. And this guy over here starts yelling and screaming at me. I got it on video. I got them telling me. I mean, the whole thing about it is that the drink is actually cheaper than the, that there's or two dollars and fifty five cents. And I said just give me a bean burrito a little that. Okay. Lou means trade. Okay. Um there was a comment about someone spitting on somebody. I didn't spit on anybody. I, I have a speech impediment. Okay. And when I speak loud it comes out. Oh, okay. So it's not a, an issue, but the guy wants to be a, an issue. So you didn't intentionally no. hog a loogie or spit in somebody's no, face? I, I don't even do. I don't even know how to do that. Okay. Do you have your ID or anything I on do. you, real quick? Why don't you get their ID yeah. though? Well, that's what I'm going to have him. Yeah, I'm okay. good here. Go ahead and see what's going on there. You have your recorder on. Oh, of course. Great. Because mine's about to run out. Okay. Is this a good address for you as well? I lived there 20 years. Okay. Are you District 3? What's Are that? You district 3? District 3? Are you in District 3? I just asked a question. I'm, this is District 6. I'm Precinct sorry, I thought it was District 3 because I, I spoke to Lieutenant, is it D'Angelo or Joe D'Angelo? Okay. He knows me. Okay. You go for it, thank you. Okay, we'll give you that back. What's a good uh, phone number for you? Want to see my receipt? Take a picture of that. My mistake. You want to see my receipt? You take a picture of my driver's license. Why don't we take a picture of that? Okay. <laughs> what? Well, it shows you that I'm a customer. I'm not here involuntarily. They told me to come in. Okay. So they told you to come inside? Yep. They said, come on in. Okay. All right. I'll just move that back. Okay. So, just a verbal argument between you guys. I didn't touch the guy. I've been law enforcement before a long time ago. Okay. So I know that. But the issue is the guy's mouthing off, and I have a way to walk right up to him and back off. And he wants to talk to me. This guy here came up out to the thing twice. Calls me names, so I have people from the front and back. Okay, so you're in the drive-through having an argument with the guy at the drive-through thing? Yeah, but and they then, were yelling and screaming at me. Okay, and, and then, then told the guy starts. I'm talking to the people at Taco Bell, and then they come up and they're yelling and screaming at me. So get the hell out of here! Just go, just go. And I want my order. Okay, I ordered it. Okay, and then they told you to pull up front of here, and then that's when you they, were going in there. They, the manager and says, "Come on in, come on in, come inside the lobby." Oh, the manager, when you were parked here, told you to go when inside? I was leaving, and then the guy comes out and starts calling me names okay. and stuff like that. And I said, hey, you know, but the manager says, come on inside the place. Okay. 
But what, is that a so, so you're leaving and the manager comes out asking No, no, the manager was in the, in the thing, in the drive through Oh, okay. Telling you to come inside? Come inside. Okay. Uh, looks like you're kind of blocking the drive through a little bit. Would you mind just pulling forward just to... Oh, by, by the light. I'm a big truck. Okay, that's fine. Has, have you been drinking at all today or anything? I haven't had a drink in 25 years. Okay, that's I awesome. I don't drink, I don't do spot, smoke, pot or nothing. Okay. Why is that a question that you do that? I saw you kind of stumble a little bit. So I, I have a speech impediment. Okay. I've already said this twice. Yeah, that's speech impediment. I'm not retarded. I just have a speech impediment. No, I'm not. I don't drink. I'm not I saying I haven't that. had a drink in 25 years. I've never had a DUI okay. or been in prison. That's fine. I'm not saying. No, I, you, I understand. Just said, you just sit there and said I have this thing like I've been drinking. Why? No, yeah, I just that. saw you just come up the curve. I just want to make sure I you're. I got boots on. Okay. It's icy uh, out. I just want to make sure you're. No, you're being, you're being difficult. I am not. You are. You should, you, if if, if you drink, feel comfortable to go in your car, you meet me over there. We'll continue talking. Ask me if I have much I've had to drink. I said, have you had anything to drink? I drink Gatorade. That's okay, all great. I do. All right. Gatorade. That's fine. I no just, pot, no drinks, no marijuana, no nothing. Okay. I just didn't want an issue to happen. I don't even smoke cigarettes. Okay. And these people flip cigarettes outside. Okay. You, hear, you see me spitting this out? I, I do. Okay. I get it. I'm not holding anything against you. I just want to make sure you're capable of... Operating more vehicle. That is it. <laughs> Why don't you ask them if they're having drinks? I'm just curious. I'm talking with you. My, I know. my deputy's in there. So, it, so I, I'm, I'm because I'm walking on rocks and uh, my phone stopped working because I'm stopped wa walking on rocks in ice and snow and boots. I'm drunk. I didn't say you were. Well, it seems like you asked me if I, I mean, so I've had a drink tonight or I today. I asked you if you've drinking anything today. What does that have to be? I mean, I'm not a DUI. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm not saying you did. It was a question. Nah, that's that's the whole awesome. reason. That's the whole reason why, why I'm out here. Not even asking them. Did, I have my ask her? I have my partner in there talking. Her. To okay. So we're fair. Have you had anything, Dick? Okay. Well, it looks like they're able to get around. So don't worry about moving your vehicle. I will move it up to the front here. Meet Palm, a new maximum strength self-defense product with a patented modular design revolutionizing the self-defense industry. Whether you're carrying the unit on your keys, snapping it on your backpack or your keychain, or carrying the pepper spray in your pocket, Palm is the perfect everyday carry accessory. Palm's patented flip top safety prevents any accidental misfire and its maximum strength formula provides you with the necessary range and capacity to bring peace of mind to you and your loved ones. Learn more at palmpepperspray.com and use code BODYCAM10 for 10% off. To have done with today? I want to be left alone, but when people start coming up and yelling and screaming at me, I'm, I don't have a right to talk back to them. Well, it, I mean, is it is it okay? It's the one-sided world? No, it's not one-sided. No, I'm just wondering what, what would you like us to do today. So if, if we find that there's charges to be able to be able to press on him or the employees there, would you like us to pursue any type well, of charges? Wanting, I mean, I just want my, my, I come here, but the lady says I do this all the time. I've never done this before. Okay. You know, the lady, she comes out and videotapes me, but I, I have it on video that I asked her. I says, just give me a bean burrito in lieu of it. Sure. Do you know what, I mean, I'm not going to be disrespectful. No, little of, instead of. Instead of, there right. you go. Instead it's of this not being on It's an educational thing. Right. And she's like, it's $2.55 for the drink. The bean burrito is $1.89. Okay. So I says, I'll take the bean burrito. Sure. But she's like, no, I can't do that. You can either have a, a brisk iced tea, you can have a cup of water. Sure. I'm like, no, I get a mango freeze all the time. I have so many of these receipts that are all Taco Bell. Oh, okay. I get the same thing. I don't have any weapons. No, no I was just huh? I was just looking at where you're no, your grabbing. You seem like a nice guy. No. But the issue in hand is that I've got friends who are cops. I used to be a cop a long, long time ago. Okay. I don't go around professing I'm a cop. Sure. But the issue in hand is that people get a little defensive by, hey, where you're reaching for things. So I don't have any weapons in my vehicle. I'm sorry. No, no. Again, said, I just no, spit my accident. No, you're, you're fine. I, I understand. But the issue in hand is that I'm just getting my Taco Bell. If okay. they don't have something here, and I started recording her when she, she said, nope, you can get water. I'm like, I was like, water, I can get water at home. Okay. You know, I, I come here to get the, the, the free. Are you Arapahoe County, by the way? Yes, Arapahoe County. That's why I missed it, because I just now saw a sheriff. Oh, yeah, Arapahoe County. Why are, we, why are you sheriff out here and wearing the sleeve of water? 
in, instead of Aurora. Yeah. Uh, it's just the house city of Centennial is broken up. Are we in Centennial? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that this was Centennial. I mean, I'd come right up to... Yeah, so Aurora starts um, across the street. So Smoky I've Hill. I've right? 20 years never knew that. Oh, okay. No, it's all good. So all that side on uh, from Smoky is Aurora. Or, yeah, is Aurora. And then we have... shut this off. You got your video on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got it. And then we start again. Um, we have a lot of unincorporated areas and stuff that we that we touch. So I got I got the title and registration that I just bought the truck for my dad. So okay. he died two years ago. Okay. I got it. Um, paid my mom for it. I have the bill of sale for it. Okay. I don't really drive this truck, but the HOA is telling me I got to move some vehicles in HOA. Sure. No, and that that kind of makes sense because when dispatch aired it out. It, Registered to your dad and George dad. Wow. Yeah, to menace, menace to yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm voluntarily showing you this. So. Oh, I I appreciate it. Was this a suicide note or no? Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm not committing suicide. No, 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 no. I meant I not not for you. I just that's okay. my mom. She's the oh, okay executor of the state. That, that leased I, it over to you. She sold me the truck. Okay. I offered. She sold it to me for a dollar. I said no. My brothers and sisters would get mad. Sure. So I gave her ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand. Okay. Five thousand. Five thousand. Okay. Well, that's that's perfectly fine. Okay. All right. Um. So my partner's in there. He's finishing up with them. Um. It sounds like it was just a verbal argument. Well, but, why can't I? I mean, why do other people? I mean, these young kids. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to you, but they jump out and start yelling and screaming, calling me names. Right. I'm twice their size. Right. You know, I'm not trying to be a bully. Right. I'm talking to them. Right. And then they come out and say, hey, you got to move your vehicle. I'm like, no, I got my issues with them. Right. And either they can back up. And I mean, I was trying to back up, and they wouldn't let me back up. Right. So it's either go forward, and the lady says, well, you can come in. I'm like, well, right. I, I want my thing. Right. And that's when he came in. Well, right. I mean, I only came in when the guy came out and started yelling at me. There was a guy, baseball cap. Was he cussing at you or yeah, anything? Yeah, he cussed me. I got him on video. What, what was he saying? He said, you're a fucking asshole. Oh, okay. said that to me twice. And he, I mean, he came outside to have a confrontation with me. While I'm in the drive, I'm, see, I'm okay. spinning again. Um, and the fact is that, that when I was leaving, he goes, goodbye, asshole, like that. So he did it a second time. Through, right? the, through the drive-thru window? Yeah, he came out. No, no. He oh, he actually out. came out. Okay. And he's standing in front of me, and I'm... You know, coming out. So then I stopped and I said, well, why are you being like that? And then the other guy's mad. But the issue at hand is, is all, I mean, we're wasting more time. You're wasting time. You guys could be doing, doing a million other things. Sure. And this is trivial. But you have other people feel like that they have to yell at, at me. Right. You know, I mean, I'm not interrupting them. I'm not in their life. Okay. Sure. Right. It just seems like you just wanted something to be switched out and then somebody got mad about it and then i did i i have the lady clear on the thing she said but they say that i do this all the time i've never done this before yeah i do have because you live all the way down off of arapaho and who you from no, your I address up here right i'm at quincy and change quincy. oh okay my mistake so if you just go right down here uh to uh smoky hill and just take a ride on chambers right the why at the top of the street right okay is, uh, I'm almost, I'm Gotcha. I must have misunderstood the address then. <laughs> oh no, you're you're good. Is the oh okay. I got gotcha. you. You know, it's just I don't know who the the developer was, but right. Okay. All right. Um, let me get my partner a quick call and just see what he got. Um, What's your first name? My name is Blaine. Blaine? You yeah. seem like a, a good guy. I'm sorry I came out across, but I'm just pissed off. No, I get it. I understand people are heated, you know, when they first, you know, when I, when we show up, you know, so I'd like to have... Well, the guy's saying, uh, I'm going to take off. I said, I'm not going to take off. I ain't got no warrants out for me. Right. You know, I mean, I I, I, I don't drink. I don't... I mean, I, my, my two vices in life is coffee, sure. donuts, <laughs> and Gatorade. Sure. And frozen Gatorade. Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's perfectly fine. So I, I'm not sure what they want to do over there. Do um, you think I spit on? Well, they said that somebody spit on somebody. I spit. I mean, I just have a speech impediment. Sure. And my issue is that when I get more vocalized, more verbal, sure. it just comes out. Right. But it's not an intentional act. It's just me talking. Right. You know, and, and that's and that's what I get from having this conversation with you. So I, I can already articulate that 
I don't believe that you intentionally spit on them. Like, straight up hog. I don't know, spit I don't know how to do that. I've seen people do it all the time. I don't do that. I've never done that. Sure. Here comes your boss. Oh, that's perfectly part, fine. Partner. So let me just talk to him real quick. He's and then... a big guy, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we, we get we go way back. Are you a football player? <laughs> I was. Who did you play for? What's that? Who did you play for? Why didn't you call it? I wasn't that good. <laughs> You're a big boy. I wouldn't mess with you. <laughs> you can talk to me. I'm not going to. It's a deterrent. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I always joke that I'm a big guy, but I'm 290 big. Paul, mm -hmm. you know, those guys are 290 your size, right. I'm like, man, you got to be every bit of 200 pounds, so, you know, yeah. but I'm just saying that I, I would still, if I, I ever got in a fight and I don't, I lose in the fight, we both lose, right. and it's just <laughs> stupid, so. Uh, Do you mind if I just talk to him real quick over here? No, you're good. Anything? I got nothing criminal. Just um, do you want to? All my trespassing, but the, the manager's not here and they don't have any letters ready, so I okay. told him we would verbally do it. And if he comes back, try to have the letters ready so he can formally do it. Okay. And then that's it. All right, verbal. I don't, yeah, I don't have any initiative from him. Um, just been there talking with him for a little bit. I'm not sworn anything. I just mm -hmm. believe it's just a speech impediment, and that's probably why they think he was wrong. Okay. So, um, it was just a verbal argument. It was just him wanting to exchange uh, a bean burrito for a, a drink that they didn't have. Right. Um, That's what they all said, too. No, okay. no specific threats made. He told one dude to step outside. That's a little too vague. Okay, yeah. So that's that's literally... Yeah, he said the manager told him to pull around and come inside. So then that's when he pulled out. And then one of the guys yelled through the drive through See you later. He stopped right there, and then he came out and told him, hey, hi, get out of here. And then that's when he went in there, because the manager told him to come inside. Right. Which he was pulling around to do that, and it just seems like a whole huge verbal argument. So yeah. I'm just going to dispose this out as some call notes. What's his first name? Um, I got his ID here. I'm just going to let him know that they no longer want him on the, on the property. Okay. Um... Uh, Bruce. So we'll, we'll just kind of go from there. Cool. That's not important. How is that important? Well, because it's told me. Well, and then and it's from now on. I'm not saying that I'm charging you a trespass or anything. Like that. I'm saying from now on, they don't want you doing business with their store or inside their store. Okay, and that is your right. I'm just passing that on to you. Okay, so next time you come out here, you know, if they recognize you or whatever like that, then they're going to form a trespass. I never broke the law. I'm not, I'm not saying you did. That's why no, no, there's nothing I don't here right now. Okay, do you have any questions for me, Bruce? And I thought so too, and now you're getting heated again. Next time you come out here, what? That's a threat. That's not a threat. threat. Yeah. How is that a threat? I don't need to do that. All you have to say is that it's good to you, sir. If I come out and violate the law. Do you have any questions? I do. I'd like to have this dog. Yes. Yeah. 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 So here's my business card, and on the back is the incident number pertaining to this call. So but the fact that he sat there and said, next time you come out here, I don't need to hear that. That's absolutely a threat. I don't need to hear it. It's okay. absolutely a threat. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. Yeah, it is Do you have any other questions? It is, yeah. I want to know the names of the people in here. Okay. Why? Well, you gave them my name. No, I didn't. You did? No, no. I didn't even know your name until I walked out here and my partner no, no. told it to me. The, the people inside. I had no idea who you were until I walked out here and my partner told me that your oh, first name was yeah. Bruce. I had no idea what your last name is. I had no idea what your date of birth is. Yeah. Nor do I care at this point. We didn't we didn't give any of your information to them and they we didn't give any of their and information. So what was to you? The, the people that, that happened there, other than the Everybody's story is matching up that you wanted an exchange of a burrito for a drink. Uh somebody no, no, no. Yeah, for a drink. Yeah, right. right. Because the, the drink wasn't available and you right. wanted the burrito instead, you know, in Luke. upgraded, hey, we, what we can do in Luke. They right. didn't want, she didn't understand that, so that's why I asked right. you. 
if you knew what the word, not being disrespectful, right, right. you knew that the proceedings on this thing. Right. But the fact of the matter is that these other two guys come out yelling and screaming, calling me names. I mean, I'm, right. I'm, you imagine standing there and having somebody yelling and screaming in your face? I'm sure you get back in their face. Like you're in my face now. So, pretty intense. Well, and according to them, it was you who started it. You were getting people's faces insulting. It's at this point, oh it's easy to say. No, I, okay. I get it. And they have video of it too. They do? They do. Of, of them. So here's the thing the though. At no point did anything criminal happen, so it doesn't matter what words were exchanged. So then why is there an investigation here? Okay. Because we were called here. Right. If we're called for an incident, we're going to investigate it. And, and, so and at the end of the day, we determine so there's nothing criminal. Anytime somebody calls 911, that's yeah, never called an incident number generated. That's the number that's generated for it. Okay. There's no case number, there's no nothing. Blames it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to put call notes in that I talked to you. And you can say he was hot headed, yelling and screaming, and all that stuff? No, I'm just going to say it was just a verbal argument between a customer and employees. Nothing criminal. Well, no, but what about the people that were, that were they were as well? I mean, there's like eight people. Okay. So that's not just Bruce and, and the employees. Right. No, I'm saying all the employees that were in there having a verbal argument with you. What about the other people that in the lobby? You didn't talk to them? I talked to them. Okay, so there's not an issue that they're yelling and screaming at me. I mean, you're just putting down me. Bruce is yelling and screaming. I'm not at doing me. anything. At this point, the management of that Taco Bell yeah. just does not want I'm you around. Right. They didn't mention yeah. anything well, about the other two. That's not my choice. Here's y'all's thing. Y'all's report goes out to a bunch of people and they go, well, there's not a report going to be made. There's no report. You just said that, 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 that this between me and the employees is a verbal altercation. Yeah. I'm saying, why not these men, these people that were in the lobby, who were yelling and screaming, came out and called me names? Why are they not being. So, yeah, they were young. The, were they citizens in? Yeah, I talked to them. Working. I identified them. I know who they are. I have their contact info. Okay. All right. Okay. So, well, you, you shake hands or? Uh, I, I do knuckles. Knuckles. So. All right. All right. Thank you for your time, Bruce. Bruce. Sorry about Take this. Care. Thank you for taking the time with us. I do. All these years, never knew you okay. were having a Okay. Try to, try to have a good rest of your day, sir. I had a great day. Okay. And so, but these guys are—they're going to get a lawsuit. I guarantee it. No, that's that's totally fine. It's your prerogative. Have a good day, sir. Good. How many employees do you guys have here right now? Four. Four? Okay. Um, can I commit for a bit? Yeah, come on. So, what's happening is um, you guys are actually being shut down right now. Uh, we have our supervisors on the way out and our investigations team as well. So, I need all your employees to come out to the front here and just have a seat. Uh, we're going to be getting a hold of the manager for the company um, and we'll explain a little bit more about what's going on um, as soon as my supervisors get here but again for right now every single employee here is being detained and nobody is free to go okay so, detention um, for a while um, so it's going to be for um, an investigation we have going on right now um, it's going to relate to the poisoning situation poisoning yes but right now so in I'm going to let somebody else elaborate on that, uh, but right now I need all of the employees to just go ahead and shut everything down and come out to the front here, okay? Okay, so we need to call our GM. Uh, yes, I think we have somebody that's working on that right now, but you're more than welcome to give them a call um, and see if they can come out here. Because we have no idea what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the GM doesn't get out here. We're trying to have somebody get in contact with them, but if you have a faster way to get a hold of the GM, that would be fantastic. Okay. All right, you guys, so again, I see everybody shut everything down and come out to the front, okay? Okay. And again, nobody, nobody can leave, all right? So that's the jump for the storage. You would like to speak to the supervisor when he gets out here, he has no idea what's happening. Okay, yeah, who is that you're on the phone with? My general manager for this store. Okay, and that person's on the way here? 
No, they're not here. They're not on your way here. Okay. We. Who? He's out of state right now. He's out of state right now. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Um. But okay. I thought he would know what's happening. So if he doesn't know. Yeah. No. He he's probably not going to be aware of what's happening because okay. this this is all just kind of starting right now. Um. We are, like I said, our, our investigations team is coming out, so they're going to contact the general manager and everything. They're going to completely explain what's going on there. Uh, you want to grab a log real quick? Uh, you guys all have IDs with you? I don't like a What's that? What's your name? Greason. Yes, Deputy Greason. Deputy Greason? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, we, we... Hang on. Uh, I can't let you take the food. Uh, there's an issue. You're going to have to call them and get a refund on it. I apologize for that, but you may not want the food. Is the other issue, okay? Okay. Yeah, sorry you guys have to go through all this. I know this is kind of abnormal. This is this is, it, this, this is pretty abnormal for us too. Um, so to you know, folks a lot higher up making this call based on what we have going on. Um, so you know, we're gonna have some folks come in. I think they're gonna want to talk to you guys. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure how this is gonna operate. Um, we'll just kind of play it by ear. Like I said, this is kind of an abnormal thing for us as well. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, we'll answer them as best as we can. Um, but we're we're only going to have so many answers for you right now, okay? Uh, were there any other employees that left recently? Oh, recently. Uh, what was the last employee that left? At seven. At seven? Uh, how many people left at seven? It was us and it was one other girl. There's one other girl? Yeah. Okay. And then before her? It was at five o'clock to... Five o'clock, two people left. At five o'clock, two people left. And then the one girl left at seven. Okay. I mean, at least you guys are on the clock still, you know. <laughs> oh, wait to be on the clock. <laughs> so you're you're at least getting paid to do this. So. <laughs> How's it going, Sarge? Hello. Hi, 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 hi. All right. Let me see you. Huh? Doing all right? How about you guys? Not doing all right at all. <laughs> I hear you. I so, hear you. Uh, it'll be there now. Just walk through so far, just make sure that's everybody here. Just four employees. One employee left at seven. Two employees left at five. Okay. Who was uh, who left at seven? Uh, female. Uh, yeah. What's her name? What? What's uh, the gal that left at seven? What's her first name? You know her last name by chance? No. Okay. Huh? She explained to him, you know, what's going on. Have you? They kept asking. I told him there was a, you know, poisoning issue is the reason we're here. Mm -hmm. I told him everybody else can have to explain whatever when they get here. Um, she has a... ...that before you leave. Okay. Um, other than that, good. Go for so anyone. Copy. I guess that's confirmed for her. Um, and now we, do they want us to search anything or are we just waiting for them? Because I have no idea what the hell is happening. Um, let's check trash cans and that kind of stuff. Like the dumpster out back because if they broke open a rat trap or something like that. Okay. Um, anything, I can go back there and look. I just came here just to see what you guys needed. I didn't know how many people I, you had. I can go do that. I will take care of that. 
but that's what we're looking for. Did you get the pictures? No. Of what it looks like, what we're looking for? Uh, no, I did not get our pictures. Um, but then, also, three. Oh, do we know a time frame? Um, at 1946 is when we got notified that okay. uh, the guy was at the hospital that had been poisoned at this hospital. Okay. He didn't say when... Um, I don't, Witzman has the receipt, I'm guessing, that'll tell us exactly when, but I just sent you a picture of what we're looking for. So you had those three employees that left. Mm -hmm. Is, uh, the is balls, that, the green balls, and then whatever that, or, yeah, the green balls, because if you flip through to the next one, they're just on top. That one's, like, hidden. They're oh, just, wow. Those are rat poison balls. And then that is like some sort of cleaning agent or something, I don't know. No shit. Yeah. So, okay, so that's a lot more legit than I thought it was. There. Yeah. Okay. So he takes one bite, immediately starts vomiting, burning throat, all that other stuff. He gave consent, they're going to go, well, CSI is going to leave the hospital after collecting the food and the poison. They're going to go to his house, collect all the vomit samples with the poison in it. Okay. I'm just going to let them know what's going on real quick, mm -hmm. and then we'll start checking around. Yep. Uh, let's see if you can mess up for a Stuff your foot in there. So, we're going to start checking around exterior trash cans, trash cans inside. This is what we're looking for. So, it was actual rat poison that was put in the food. So, it's these green balls right here. So, we're looking for anything like that. Traps that may have been broken open. Um, there's more of it, and then there's also some kind of cleaning agent that was put in there. So what happened was the guy had take a, took one bite of this food and immediately started burning, vomiting. Um, so they went to the hospital. They confirmed it is, in fact, poison. At the hospitals? Yeah. So right now they're treating this as an attempted homicide investigation.